Today, 43 young men from several gang-ridden communities in Belize City received certificates of completion from a wilderness and wellness training camp. The 40-year retreat, dubbed Heal Up With Roots, saw the men participate in a one-week counseling session held at the Camp De Silva training grounds in the Mountain Panage Reserve. The initiative was aimed at providing a safe space for the men, who are often at odds, to talk their differences through meaningful pursuits. And according to Brandon Baptist, a prominent figure from the Lake Independence area, it was a life-changing experience. The programs there and the camp where we gone, my nice day experience in me. I stand and make I open my mind more. Make I see things different because now, like with their own, all kind of people now, we learn to live with each other. You know? We talk to each other. We have fun together. Nobody no feel no kind of way. You know? Everybody feel happy then. We don't think negative towards each other. We just love each other. Find out that we could help each other. Love each other. Get a sense. And I really want to continue to do this to men check. Because for be real, I love all of my people there. You understand me? And for people they could see it and continue to help you, help you, help push you, we will make it far. The retreat was organized by the Ministries of Home Affairs and Youth as a part of the government's attempt to tackle crime from a multi sectoral approach. A costly venture that the Minister of Youth, Kevin Bernard, says GOB is taking very seriously. When myself, Karim Musa, uh, the, the, the Minister of, uh, um, the Deputy Prime Minister and, the, and also the Minister of Tourism sat down along with the Minister of Education and we said, you know what, we, we are going to approach this thing. Um, these young men, um, they have been there. We know the, the, the games that have been played before um, and we had a very strong message to them. We're going to invest, but the day we find that you are not serious about this thing, we're going to pull out because it is not about wasting taxpayers' money, but it's making sure that what we invest, there should be benefits and there should be positive results coming out of this. What will happen, however, though, is that it's the constant monitoring of these programs has to be done. The constant um, activities that has to take place within the just outside. Uh, creating an op uh, employment opportunities, working with the Belize City Council, working with, with other stakeholders in trying to ensure that these young people keep positive within their communities. Apart from providing meaningful engagement, the retreat also sought to have the men discuss the deep-rooted issues affecting them in their marginalized communities, according to William Dawson of the Leadership Intervention Unit. We have several other groups that we'll be working with. And like I said, this is just the beginning of a long-term plan that we have in terms of uh, following up with, with more training, especially uh, vocational training for these young men and looking at op uh, entrepreneurial opportunities for them, uh, partnering with DFC and Bell Trade and, and these institutions to further uh, advance them in terms of their training and, and uh, skill set so that they are viable in terms of uh, economic inclusion for the youths of Belize City. And while the men will be partaking in other programs set out to keep them on a straight and narrow, the main objective of uplifting them in a holistic manner remains the same, according to Assistant Commissioner of Police, Dr. Richard Rosado. It's basically to empower the marginalized through social development programs and therapeutic intervention. Thus, we intend to launch a wide range of programs to enhance positive youth development and strengthen the family. We intend to provide support mechanism to divert them from crime. We intend also to develop and enhance entrepreneurship, marketable skills and more community hub as source of income. The program will continue in the coming months with the remaining 200 plus participants each spending a four year period in the Mountain Panridge area. Reporting for Love News, I am Vijay Alvarez.